first thing we did when we got here is got a flat white. That's right, a flat white. <laughs> we don't get, we don't have that in in, in the states. So. We're coffee fans, <laughs> uh, you know, Australia. But you know, Australia is a similar vibe to San Diego. Yes, in my opinion, it's got the, the, the ocean and the beach and surfing culture and, and English and um, you know things that are similar so it's kind of like taking a long flight to land back in San Diego. <laughs> It's exciting. I think my my dad and my neighbors finally realized that I'm actually doing a good band. <laughs> like I'm yeah, actually in a good band. It justifies us being a band. Finally got their attention. <laughs> I've been doing this for 20 years, you know. And yeah. You win a Grammy and all of a sudden people are like, wow, you guys really, people really are listening to your music, <laughs> you know. And, you know, it's, you know, it's, cool. um, it, it's, it's an honor to, to get to receive an award of that stature, but you know, for us, we, you know, the fact that we've been doing playing music, being in a band, from, you know, this is going to be our eighth album coming out. That that to us is, uh, for us, we're very fortunate, and we are very blessed that we can still be in a band, make music, you know, perform for people. You know, that to us is probably the most important thing. When I when I first wanting wanted to be in a band you know it's because I wanted to travel and wanted you know to be able to come to places like Australia where to be able to go to my where I was born in the Philippines you know and to be to be able to go to Europe you know those are dreams come true to me you know to be able to just travel and play and and see people like seeing the songs that you you're playing is that you know that was really awesome Traveling is pretty great. I mean, because yeah. when you get there and people know your songs, and, and you you know you you know you're halfway around the world. You, you don't speak the language, you know, somewhere, and, and you know people are singing the songs that you recorded in your own little studio in San Diego, not knowing who was going to listen to it or where it was going to go. And you put it out there in stores; it goes everywhere, and people know it. It's it's pretty amazing feeling to uh, to see. To hear crowds singing those lyrics back to you. The the concept of Hello Hurricane, the idea of you know there are there will be storms in your life. You know you you will face you know whether it's relational or whether it's you know environmental. You know. Things that happen, like in Japan and stuff, they, they'll all, you'll always be able, you'll be able to, you're all, you're gonna face all that stuff. And the idea of hell a hurricane is to face it head on, to, to not turn, not run away from it, but you know, to, to face your, your hurricane. You know, that, those are the things that God's been teaching me. For me, one of my favorite songs on that album is called "Sing It Out," um, um, because of its uh, simplicity. And uh, it, it's it's a song about yearning. It's a song about seeking, and uh, it's it's a personal song. And it's one of my favorites. Uh, we poured a lot into that album over a year and a half, over 80 songs, building a new studio, really going through a search of who we are as a band and finding an identity. I think we just we really went went through a lot on that record, and that song, Sing It Out, really. Uh, captures the soul of it, you know, not 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 uh, a super happy song or a very big, you know, you know, it's a slower song with you know these beautiful like, dropout sections with strings and keyboards and stuff. But I think the seed that we planted in the recording of that with Hello Hurricane has really grown in Vice Versus, this new album that we've just finished. Well, actually, the name uh, came. We had the name while we were recording Hello Hurricane. The title of the album, Vice Versus, we already knew, you know, while we were recording Hello Hurricane. So 
that's a little bit of tidbit. Yep, yep, and that song uh, was written during that session but didn't make the record. So we said, well, this is going to be the next record. So we already kind of had that connecting theme, you know, like I was saying, you know, kind of growing out of it. And, you know, this record was more concise to me. Uh, it's more, uh, it's bold and very much drum and bass focused. You'll even hear John doing some spoken word, almost talking kind of lyrics, which is new for us, a new sound, a new flavor kind of for our music. And uh, I don't know, as far as lyrics go, I think it's one of the most obviously transcendent type albums that we've ever made. Wow. I mean, you're, you're trying to like separate us from the love of our kids. <laughs> Which one's our favorite? Kid. <laughs> Hope they don't watch this. <laughs> the songs. Um, you know, when I first heard the song Dare You to Move, you know, years ago, when we, when I first joined the band, I knew that song was special, and, uh, and playing it every night, uh, and seeing the impact it has, and, uh, is, always moves me every night, and that is probably one of my favorite songs to play, as, in Switchfoot. Yeah. So, very special about that song. Yeah. The way that it connects to people and lifts people up, which is something we want to do as a band, you know, bring hope to the hopeless, bring life to the lifeless, you know, bring uh, people out of um, any, you know, sort of darkness or things. We've seen that song do that. charity event in San Diego called the Switchfoot Barrow Am. <laughs> and it's half surf contest, half concert on the beach, half community uh, uh, fair, festival type thing. And uh, we have a lot of bands, a few bands, you know, come out and play it. Uh, we have a stage right on the beach in our home town, home city. And uh, you know, all the proceeds go to Stand Up For Kids, which is a local uh, a charity that helps at-risk uh, youth, which is something that's close to our hearts. You know, we've been, been down there volunteering and met with them and seen the work they do, and it's very powerful. It's very good work. It's very um, above board and, and really changing lives, you know, which is what we want to be a part of. Yeah. 